The year 2022 saw a lot of exciting developments in the world of space exploration, and SpaceX has been leading the charge. In a recent event, SpaceX achieved a monumental milestone as they conducted a static fire test of Booster 7, which included the ignition of a whopping 31 Raptor engines. Today's video is going to be an interesting one, as we are going to discuss the analysis of SpaceX's big milestone, Booster 7 31 engine static fire, confirmed by Elon. The company's goal of colonizing Mars seems to be inching closer, and the latest milestone in this journey is the static fire test of Booster 7. The test set a new record for the most rocket engines ever ignited on a single rocket. So, without any further ado, let's discuss the story. On February 10th, SpaceX conducted a static fire test of Booster 7, which is half of the Starship rocket system. This was the first time that 31 Raptor engines were ignited at the same time, and the test was a success. The engines roared to life for a few seconds and shut down, kicking up rose clouds above the rocket and prompting masses of birds to flee the area. It was truly a sight to behold, and nearly 300,000 people watched the live stream broadcasted by SpaceX on YouTube. But the question on everyone's mind is whether the test was powerful enough to destroy the launch pad. SpaceX had prepared for this eventuality and made sure that their Mechazilla, the Orbital Launch Mount or OLM, was able to hold Starship down with 20 clamps to counteract any remaining thrust. The fact alone that the launch pad survived the ordeal is likely enough for SpaceX to consider the static fire a success. However, the heat generated by 33 engines was enough to cause some damage to the launch pad, which will need repairs before the next launch. So, what does this achievement mean for SpaceX and the future of space exploration? To answer this question, we need to look at the context of this achievement. The goal of SpaceX is to make space travel more accessible and cost-effective, and they believe that the key to achieving this goal is to create a fully reusable rocket. Starship is the vehicle that SpaceX is developing to achieve this goal, and the static fire test of Booster 7 brings them one step closer to making this a reality. With 31 engines, the Booster 7 is a powerful rocket, and if all 31 engines had reached full throttle during the test, the rocket would have generated more than 15 million pounds of thrust. This is nearly double the thrust of NASA's Saturn V and Space Launch System moon rockets. This achievement puts SpaceX in a league of its own, and they are now one step closer to realizing its dream of sending humans to Mars. Elon Musk, the CEO of SpaceX, confirmed that even with two engines disabled, those that remained were still enough to reach orbit. This is a remarkable achievement, and it shows that SpaceX is on the right track to achieving its goal of making space travel more accessible and cost-effective. The fact that SpaceX was able to create a rocket that could generate such massive thrust is a testament to the ingenuity and innovation of the company. However, despite the success of the static fire test, there is still a lot of work that needs to be done before the Booster 7 is ready for an orbital. SpaceX is inching closer to its goal of launching its Starship rocket, which the company hopes will eventually take humans to Mars. However, the road to achieving that goal has been bumpy. Recently, the company conducted a series of static fires, culminating in a test of 31 engines, which appeared to perform well. However, the absence of two engines during the test has complicated the company's next steps, particularly with regard to obtaining a launch license from the Federal Aviation Administration (FAA). The FAA has been cautious in approving SpaceX's launch license for the Starship, given the environmental impact of the company's test program and launch facilities in South Texas. SpaceX has been working to address the 75 mitigating actions identified by the FAA for environmental approval which has elicited fierce pushback from conservationists and locals who have lost access to nearby public beaches. SpaceX's president and COO Gwen Shotwell has stated that the company will be ready to fly as soon as it receives the FAA license. Despite the delays and setbacks, SpaceX remains committed to achieving its goal of landing humans on the Moon and Mars. Shotwell believes that the company will conduct more than 100 orbital test flights of the Starship before putting humans on board which is necessary to help NASA carry out its moon landing with the Artemis 3 mission, slated for 2025. While Shotwell acknowledged that SpaceX has a tendency to share unmet deadlines for launches, she believes that the company will be landing people on the moon for sure within this decade and hopefully on Mars by the early 2030s. The Starship system is far different from anything SpaceX has flown before. While the company has flown about 200 missions with its Falcon rockets, including sending military satellites and crews of astronauts to orbit, 
The Starship is far more powerful and designed specifically for venturing deeper into the solar system. The successful static fire test of the Starship Booster 7 with 31 engines is a significant milestone for SpaceX and the future of space exploration. While there are still regulatory hurdles to clear, the potential of the Starship rocket to carry humans and cargo to Mars and beyond could usher in a new era of space travel. With the potential for Mars colonization, space tourism, and more, the Starship rocket could be a game changer in the world of space exploration. As we wait for the next steps in SpaceX's journey, we can only imagine the possibilities of what the future holds. On that note, I'll end this video here. I hope you like it. If you did, let me know by giving it a thumbs up, and do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you at the next one.